Welcome to The Rap Studios. I'm Stuart Brazel here with Lisa Edelstein. And we are talking Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. Yes. And holy crap, Abby is losing it. Abby is. What is going on with Poor her? Poor Abby. She's having a hard year. Yeah. Yeah, I was really exhausted by the end of this season shooting. <laughs> um, Highs and lows. Abby's sort of m meeting herself. You know, when she was getting divorced and when she was trying to figure out whether that marriage was worth saving and when she was just back into the dating world, there was a lot of outside things that she could point to as being the problem, but this, but this season, it's really Abby is the problem. She's got a lot, um, she's trying to, she's meeting all of her character defects at once and, yeah. she, um, and she's being kicked in the butt by them all. So coming up, I have to ask, everybody wants to know, are you gonna go to Delia's wedding? Well, tune into the next episode. There are enough pictures out there that sort of spoil that story. Like, I'm like, I feel like you're going to show up, but it's either going to be really great or you're going to like ruin it. Yeah, poor Abby, right? I, like, I love that that's what you think. Abby's going to ruin the wedding. Um, you know, Delia's not behaving too well this year either. I, everybody sort of, by the time this wedding happens, everyone's really in the middle of something. Yeah, Phoebe too. Intense. All of them. And, and Joe, so, I have all of them. Yeah. You know what I love though about this show? And I think. It's you're showing all of these strong women, but you're being honest. You're saying life is not perfect. Right. Shit happens. And also, friends have problems with each other. Yes. Uh, I love that about it. There's, these are complicated women with complicated friendships, and they uh, frequently are irritated with each other, and they have to deal with it. And, and that's real life. And, and it is real life. And that, what I love about the show is that, despite the fact that it's an aspirational show, it still manages to really cut to the core. And um, I love that about Marty's writing and her storytelling. Um, just that she always wants to take it back to the real. She, you know, you, first of all, some of the stories are actually true. You know, in season one, when Abby gets her hand stuck in the, in the window, <laughs> that actually happened to Marty when she had just gotten divorced and was fine, the only adult in the house um, and realized that she You're was alone. alone. Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of great stories like that that are really pulled from true life because really true life is as ridiculous as anything it you is. could possibly come up with a lot of the time. <laughs> um, and I love that. I love that it. I love that it maintains a really true, honest, raw core while still being funny and fun and as aspirational. Well, I have to give a shout out because you have such incredible fans, and I want to get do. a couple of their fan questions in. They want to know what do you like most about Abby. I love how hard she tries. Abby is really uh, enthusiastic about living her life. She, she takes a lot of, of beatings, um, but she keeps getting back up again and she keeps trying really hard and she's just trying to figure it out. And I, I, she's incredibly enthusiastic, yeah. but she does make a lot of mistakes. And what message are you hoping that Abby and the cast of Girlfriend's Guide get out there to the viewers? We're all fragile and we're all imperfect and that's the beauty of life. You know, all, all these characters are making mistakes, but all these characters are also really wonderful, loving yeah. people. Um, and that is part of being a human being. Well, we're so excited for the finale. And Thank we, you. We're big fans of the show. Be sure to watch Girlfriend's Guide to Divorce. Thank you. Tuesday nights on Bravo. And we'll see if you have a breakdown. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going to happen.